Is your base looking boring in Lumber Tycoon 2? Let's fix that today with an arcade machine build. It is very simple, all of the blueprints will be listed in the description below if you want to build this. Let's go over the types of wood we are using for the different parts of the machine. First off we have elm wood right here, next we have a little bit of birch wood, and then finally we have some cherry wood. So again all these blueprints will be in the description below, but let's go ahead and begin the build by taking a 4x4 oak or elm slab, excuse me, and then we place it down like this, it's a nice square. Next we're going to go ahead and grab 4 1 over 1 wedges like so, and we're going to place them around the square blueprint like so. It's very simple, you just want to make it a nice square border like so, rotate them so that they look like this, and then finally we're going to- oh that's bugged, <laughs> let's try that again. There we go, and then rotate it and place it like this, and this is what it should look like. We are going to go ahead and now move on to the next step, which is taking these small tiles. We're going to take seven of these 2x2 two two small tiles, and we're going to place them so that they are on top of the wedge like this. We're going to do that all the way around until we reach the front of the machine, where it will look slightly different because we need to have an opening for the prizes. This is only a decorative machine though, so it's not going to give you anything actual. But here's what it should look like so far. We're going to continue placing the tiles on this side by rotating to make sure it's on top of the wedge. Let's go ahead, get the second to last tile placed down, and then finally let's grab the last small tile, and we are going to put it right here. We have to rotate it first, there we go. And this is where the opening is going to be. And we're going to make that opening with three tiny tiles. These are just one by one, so they are quite small. We're going to rotate them so that the wood grain matches the rest of the tiles like this, otherwise it'll look a little bit distinguished. Finally, we're going to place the second one on top, and then grab the last one and place it on the side of the one we just placed. Once we get it rotated, of course. There we go. So now we have this small opening that is just going to be decorative. Let's go ahead and grab this tile, which is a 4x4 thin blueprint tile. Uh, we're just going to place it in the middle like this to serve as the platform for the prizes. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step, which is building the machine, uh, the top of it. So, <laughs> well not quite the top, but like the prize cage or whatever you want to call it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take one of the 1 over 1 wedges, place it in this corner, and we're going to do the same on top. We're going to place another one like so. Let's go ahead and grab two more and place those two in this corner here on top of each other and we're going to repeat that for the next two corners. So let's place this here, there we go, and then finally grab this one and place it here. Okay, one more corner left, so let's do this over here, rotate and place, let's walk over here, move and place this, oh, wrong place, <laughs> ignore that, and place it on top just like the rest of the corners. And this is what it should look like. Very good if you got into this point. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to build the roof. The roof is going to be quite simple. We're going to take a post and we're going to place it in between the two wedges as high as you can so it looks like this. We're going to repeat that for the three other sides of this machine by just placing them in between the two wedges like so. Voila! And let's actually close the chat so you can see. And then let's place the last one up here like this. Voila! We now have a nice red box, but we're going to go ahead and grab this tile and place it on the top to act as the roof. Voila, there we go. Now we have the glass panes, but we're going to hold off on those because we have to make a claw inside of the machine and we also have to add the controls. I think it's going to be very easy to build this lever first, uh, we're just going to pop it down in the back like this. There we go, and you don't have to necessarily do this lever, but what it will do is it'll add some nice lighting to the front of the machine. Next, let's go ahead and build the claw inside of the machine. So for the claw, let's go ahead and try to get um, fit four tiny floors inside of here, or small floors actually. And then we're going to go ahead and destroy this blueprint in the middle. That way we can go ahead and build the claw in between all these blueprints. So we're going to start off by taking this blueprint here, going up with it, like so. You want to make sure it's straight, if not, it'll look crooked, obviously. So we're going to place this here like that. And we might actually go inside just a bit more so that it doesn't collide with any of the windows. So we're going to place this up here like that. There we go. We're going to go over, make sure it's not crooked. And then finally, 
go down like this. That's a little crooked, so let's go over just a tad bit, and that's pretty good. So we're going to finish it there, and then finally, we have to go ahead and place one more wire to complete the claw. So we'll just place this on the edge and in the middle of these two wires, and it might be a little complicated, especially if the collisions are being a little wonky, so we're going to do it like this. We're going to place our cursor right here. That's still crooked. Let's try this again. There we go. So we're going to place that there. We're going to go down to the middle of this blueprint like this. Then we're going to go up like that. Hopefully it's in the middle. That's a little crooked. Hold on. This is probably the toughest part of the build. It's just making sure that all the wires are straight. Such a minor detail, yet such time consuming. So we're going to try to get this. Eh, it's still crooked, unfortunately. Well done. How about this? I think that's good enough. And then we'll place it down like this. And eh, let's go less crooked. There we go. Nope, not, not enough. There we go. And press finish. And voila, it's a claw. So then finally, you can destroy all these blueprints. You no longer need them. And we're going to grab another wire. That way we can connect it to the top of the machine. And it's just not some floating thing. So we're just going to place it here. It's in the middle. And then we're going to go all the way up like this. And check from different camera angles to make sure that it is straight. That looks pretty straight to me. And voila, it's a claw. So now it is time to fit in the windows for the machine. So let's go ahead and do that by placing them like so. You want to make sure that when you place them, you're not placing them like that, like I just did. You want to rotate them. That way, the window panes are touching these tiles here, but slightly um, not connected because that's just the hitbox of the windows. Can't really change anything about that. We're going to go around the machine like this, just placing these windows like so. We're going to rotate this one, place it here. And then finally grab this window and place it on this front. This is a nice looking machine. We're going to put items inside of it later on. But first off, we do have to place another wire inside of the machine where that will sort of act as a hole. So this is just going to be decorative, of course. So that's why we're going to go ahead. We're going to place this wire here to simulate the hole where the items drop. So we're just going to go ahead, place it like so. There we go. Oh, hold on. Try to make this as square as possible. And we're going to keep doing this. So we'll do one more row of wires. There we go. Nice. So because Lumber Tycoon 2 is being a bit mean and not letting us place these two tiles here, we're not going to use them. Instead, we're just going to place this button here to act as a control. And maybe you'll have better luck trying to place those. But for now, we're going to not use them. Also, the reflection of the glass makes the hole look a little weird. I don't know why. But let's go ahead and we can put this glass pane back because we are done moving it. And now we can go ahead and connect two other wires. Uh, the third wire was going to be a joystick, but again, the wires aren't lit. The, the button doesn't want to... Uh, the, the blueprints don't want to essentially go here. They, they're just not working. So instead, we're going to go ahead and we're going to connect this wire to the bottom. Drag it to the top like so, as far as you can. And then you want to go ahead and place a little knob here. And then go to the back of the machine with this wire. And voila. That is the first side done. Now let's go ahead and do the other side of the machine. And we're only doing this to the front because we want to save time and wires. So let's go ahead, drag this to the bottom. Drag this as high as you can while it's still green. Place that. Drag it across like this. And then uh, we will have to do it a bit differently. Hopefully it's long enough. Uh, let's drag this to here, and then finally, a uh, little piece there. Oh, it's too short. Wait, oh, it's going to be perfect length. And there we go. So now both sides of the machine are connected, and you have these nice blue lines. So the final step is to actually add some items to it. What you can do is you can move this tile blueprint out of the way, and just toss random items you have. In this case, we have some eyes, which we can pop into the machine. So let's go ahead, add some of those. And we also have some smaller items that we can fit in there too. So let's grab the shoebox looking gift, toss that in here. It'll be nice if we can actually see the eyes. Oh, well, they don't want to cooperate. Oh, rotate it maybe. There we go. That's good enough. And then let's add one other item. I guess we can add these worms to it. Uh, bigger items, unfortunately, will not fit unless you make a builder ca or a bigger cage. So let's toss that in there and voila, it's a little claw machine. So you can finally add the tile back to the top. And if you have some lighting you want to use, you can definitely bring some uh, little lights to shine on it so it's a bit brighter. So we'll put that there. And voila, you now have your very own claw machine. Thank you.